let's talk about data readiness and identify what kind of services could be used at this stage of the ML pipeline. So first we wanna talk about data collection within data readiness. So where are we going to collect our data for our ML models to use? S3 is a, a great place to place them. Using AWS Glue Data Catalog is great for storing metadata, not the data, but the metadata, the schema or structure around our data. Then you have AWS Data Lake, which is useful for importing data from multiple sources and managing access to your data team. And often you're using all three of these together with Data Lake. Um, I find Data Lake really hard to set up, so I try to avoid it as much as I can, but it is really useful if you're working with uh, larger teams with large amounts of data uh, with uh, complex team rules. We have exploratory data analysis, so also known as EDA. This will analyze and investigate data sets for ML, uh, for ML uh, use cases or just data use cases in general. And so you can spin up a SageMaker notebook, which will have pre-installed Python data tools, think PySci, Pandas, things like that, to analyze the data. We ha also have SageMaker Studio Labs, which also spins up Jupyter Notebooks, but offers free CPUs and GPUs. Um, I strongly recommend checking that out because you'll have uh, no chance to spend utilizing that, but understand that it is a um, not within your own VPC, so maybe there is uh, privacy concerns or not concerns, but does not meet the standards that your company needs to operate those in. We have Amazon Athena, where you use SQL against semi-structured data, so um, maybe CSV files, JSON files, Marquette files in your S3 buckets. Pretty straightforward for that one. We have data preprocessing, which is like data uh, wrangling or munging or uh, doing things to the data. And so there's two services in particular that we can utilize, Data Wrangler from SageMaker and AWS Glue Data Brew. The key difference between these two is that uh, SageMaker is for ML pipelines and AWS Glue Data Brew is just more generic tool for cleaning, normalizing data. Um, both are really great, but you know, if you're gonna dump the data into your S3 bucket, it's not gonna notice the difference, but Data Wrangler is obviously more uh, intended for machine learning pipelines, okay?